AWS introduces Smart Window Tool for ArchiCAD. With one user-friendly library file, you can access a wide range of systems and configuration options with reliable detailing, and it provides you with enormous flexibility to select and configure AWS systems from Vantage, Elevate, and Thermal Heart Range within your ArchiCAD project. Let's take a look. We'll start at the Series Selection window where you can select AWS systems from the Vantage or Elevate range. When Elevate is selected, you can quickly choose the suite of products you wish to work with from the drop-down list. Commercial Framing, Architectural, Commercial, or Thermal Heart Product Suites. With Commercial Framing selected, you can then choose the desired framing system along with operable systems that are compatible with the frame. With architectural or commercial series selected, first choose an operable element to define the compatible framing type. Vantage suites can be selected in a similar way. Choose from designer thermal heart, residential or specialty suites. Nominate the core operable element and then select other compatible systems. If you are unfamiliar with AWS systems, it may be difficult to identify the appropriate system for your project. To simplify this process, we've added the Criteria page. The Criteria page lists all the opening types available for Elevate, Window and Door systems. When you select a series, you'll see which opening types you'll have access to. If you select Commercial Framing, you can now see which operable elements are compatible with the selected frame types. The operable element types can be switched on and off. If you select an operable element type, you can filter easily to identify the systems capable of accepting that operable element. Once you have chosen the desired operable types, you can easily select an appropriate product. On the right-hand side, a description of the product appears to assist you in ensuring a selected product is suitable for your application. In this case, We've chosen 400, which is the Series 400 commercial framing. By clicking Preview, it takes us back to the Series Selection page where you nominate the desired operable elements to nest within this frame. As you can see, the 400 series gives you access to the majority of operable systems within the Elevate range. Once you've selected the operable systems you wish to use, you need to position the openings. Let's look at this step by step. To start, we need to go into Settings and click on Series Selection. This is where you can nominate a frame, Commercial Framing Series 400, and in this case, we'll turn off all operable elements. The first step is to configure the panel arrangements, selecting from an 8x8 grid for rows and columns. We nominate the number of columns, the number of rows, and turn individual sections for mullions and transoms on and off. This is what it looks like when they're all turned on. Next, we need to clean up our intersections by specifying how they're configured. In this case, I'm making them all the same, mullion dominant. Now we can turn off individual sections of mullions and transoms to get the exact configuration we want. Let's go back to our panel arrangement. Set these to vary so we can turn elements on and off using the checkboxes. Next, go through and turn off the sections that are not required. Click OK. Now you can see the configuration has changed. The intersections are hovering in space. Next, go back into the object. Go to the intersection page and uncheck this box. Turn all the intersections we need to off and change the top ones to transom dominant. Click OK. The panel arrangement is now complete so we can move on to placing some operable elements. To start, go back to our series selection 
where you can select AWS systems using the Criteria tool. We've selected the 400 series, so let's make sure it's compatible with the operable elements we want to use. We'd like a bifold door, a louver window, and an awning window. Here you can see that the 400 series will allow us to achieve the configuration we need. Next, we'll select the operable elements we want to use. As you can see, the elements have been auto-positioned based on my previous settings. We'd like to adjust the positions. To do so, we need to go into our operable elements. For the bifold door, we want it to go from 0 0.10 to 0 0.62 to be in this empty space we've created. You'll see the position of the door has changed. We'd like the louver to run down the side. So we'll go from 6.0 to 7.2. And we'd like our awning in the top corner from 0.02 to 0.13. The configuration is now complete. You can also work with several other functions. For example, the louver window currently looks like a single panel. This is to assist with the polygon count, but we can set this to louver blades. We can also adjust the sizing of the operable elements, the bifold door configuration settings or louver settings. When you click OK, the configuration changes and the louvers become blades. You can also adjust these elements positioning in the frame. To do so, go to Direction, where you can see the position relative to the mullion. You can change them to be centered, and you can change the opening direction of each element. Now the awning is set in the right position. We can also change the doors to open inwards. Standard functions for the CAD Swift Window tool are also available. As you've selected an AWS product, sizes are predefined, so general sizes are locked. However, you do have access to tolerances. You can also use generic elements that are not part of the AWS product range, such as internal and external casement, various internal and external sills and header options. The AWS team are always here to help. So if you need assistance with a project or specification, give us a call.